Okay, good evening, uh, friends, for the the 23rd episode of our FILTA webinar. Uh, we'll feature some highlights of the ongoing FILTA online play tennis workshop, which started last weekend, Saturday, November 14. Uh, we wish to share a few fun tennis tips uh, when we when teaching beginners, especially kids. Sa mga coaches po nakasama namin ngayong gabi, uh, hope you learn a few teaching tips, okay? So enjoy tonight's uh, special episode. Uh, for coaches brought to you by the Philippine Tennis Association and Milo. Okay, Coach Davis. Hi, good evening everyone. Good evening, <coughs> Coach Gerb and sa lahat ng mga viewers natin. I hope, I hope safe kayo lahat dun sa nakaraang bagyo. Uh, alam natin masyadong maraming nasalanta pero sana okay lang kayo lahat. So, yun. So, if you have a question, comment, shoutouts, or anything that you'd like to share, I am uh, I am most willing to read them for you. So make sure you write you write down the comment section during the live stream. Make sure you authorize StreamYard so you can share it away. So I will be waiting for those comments. Okay. So uh, for the meantime, back to you, Coach Yer. Okay. Um, thank you, Coach Davis. Thank you, Salhat, for sharing the ating filter webinar for tonight. So viewers, we incur. Uh, uh, sh uh, sh share nag, uh, live feed sa groups at sa tao, mga tao habang live. Uh, we were grateful uh, that Filta President Attorney Antonio Cablitas joined us last weekend. <clears throat> Nagpapasalamat po kami na binigyan tayo ng uh, panahon ni Attorney Cablitas para makasama online ang mga coaches na nag-participate sa Filta Online Tennis Workshop. Um, our topic for tonight um, is uh, ang ating... Uh, Filta uh, Online Play Tennis uh, Workshop. Yeah, uh, with the special message of Attorney Cablitas. Okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. The ang aim ng uh, ating uh, topic tonight uh, is to help coaches better understand uh, how to introduce tennis uh, to beginner players of all ages organizing and delivering tennis lessons in a fun and effective learning environment. Okay? Coach Davis, uh, kasama din po uh, <clears throat> natin sila uh, Filta Head Coach Chris Cuarto at uh, Filta Vice President uh, Martin Misa. At syempre, ang aking uh, kasama ngayon si Coach Davis Arano. Uh, dito sa um, pati si Coach Joby Mamawalas Moderator uh, dito sa ating workshop. Coach Davis? Hello. So, ayan. So, yung mga kasama nating coaches, no? So, yung mga nag-participate. So, hello sa inyo, Sir David Vicente from Dep Ed Rizal Province. Si Sir Christoph Carmona ng San Carlos of Negros Occidental. Si Sir Billy Edra, Dep Ed Iligan Isabela. Ay, Ilagan Isabela. Si Coach Duma Boloto, Marawi City. Michael, si Sir Michael from Holosulu, si Harry Dave Caron from Cotabato City, si Cyrus and Dixie yung uh, from uh, ano sila from mm -hmm. Abra coach tama ba? Ayun. Yes, so, tama, si Sir tama. West De La Cruz ng Dep Ed Antipolo. If I'm not mistaken, si coach Yes, uh, si coach JV, si and si coach Gia ng Brooks Point Palawan. Si Sir Elmer Sagubo ng La Trinidad Benguet. Ramon Fernandez ng Vigan. Si Coach Peach Kunanan ng Phil Am Tennis Club, QC. Si, si Coach Salvador Onyok Gomez from Gimbal, Iloilo Province. Tama ba, Coach? Gimbal? Mm -hmm, tama, tama. And then, si, and then si Coach Norman from Dep Ed Isabel. Wow. So, yun. Yeah. Kita nyo naman, uh, nationwide, lahat, no? Malalayo <laughs> lahat Malalayo lahat yan. <laughs> hanggang sa hulo, sa dulo ng Pilipinas. Yan. Uh, before we uh, show you the... Uh, uh, we will show... Before this, we will show you the uh, <laughs> bit of uh, photos from uh, Torni Cablitas. Hmm.
Yan, ito. Sa ano to? Um, sa, you know, last year lang to, no? During nung uh, AGM. Yan. Yun, nakita mo ba yun? Yun, nung AGM ng uh, uh, meeting ng uh, ATF, Asian Tennis Federation. Nakita mo ba yun, Coach Davis? Hello, Coach Davis? Siyang ka pa ba? Yes, sa uh, ano yan? Sa uh, Peninsula. Peninsula Hotel, tama? Yan. Oo, oh. oh, tama, tama. Tapos, ang next uh, photo natin, ito, uh, oh, ayos. Ito ang ating president, uh, kasama niya sa meeting ng uh, ITF, uh, International Tennis Federation uh, current president. Ito si uh, Mr. David Haggerty, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Ayun. So, ang uh, <clears throat> next nating ipapalabas na ang uh, special message uh, from uh, our dear president, uh, Attorney Cablitas. Good morning, everybody. Uh, at least I know the those uh, uh, who are participating now. It's a very good distribution of cross section of the tennis community all over the Philippines. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself to you. I was formerly with Delta Venture back in 1986. In fact, uh, I was then vice president until then I was doing very well. For the next six years, and then I, I bid goodbye. Now I'm back again because there is a need really to reactivate Delta back to its peak. And we did this for the last mid 2017. When I assume the top cost of Delta, following all the applicable rules, I really set myself into active motion to bring back Delta. So it's what used to be a business before the eighties. So one of my programs is nationwide grassroots tennis development tournaments. Alongside with that is activate coaching because alongside with officiating. This we did immediately. So this finds uh, some uh, Natutu, natut, naging katutuhanan ito when I was there and then initially nga noon, we were invited to a regional conference of coaches sa Hong Kong. Only one was invited by the ITF but I still told it, sabi ko, magpadala tayo. More that we can really gather. So we sent six or seven of you, Martin, no? Davis was there, to Thailand and uh, Hong Kong, and then the World Conference we sent again in Bangkok. So this is, you know, naman, no? coaching is really, it takes two to a tango in tennis, coaching and players. The players are the one you're molding. They have the talent, but actually the enhancement side to make it on a higher level really behoves on the coaching. And I'm happy for this because you are now having this awareness and I am encouraging coaches to even organize themselves. My purpose here, my support here is to bring you to conferences, seminars for enhancement. Find skills that you can really impart for them. So this will be a continuing effort. In fact, just lately, I organized some of you to organize yourself into a famous coaching association because in this manner we will be reaching at the farthest end of the country to our, our players. You will be at the same time also the parents of the parents of this player. Yeah, I'm very happy that this has been organized. This play tennis workshop before this, for this itong workshop nito, the first day is all about coaching. And we have here, I know some of you, it's not possible. Most of you I know from your part. I was there in Vigan, Ramon Fernandez. Was there. I was there in Vigan. I was dealing with the governor, Ryan, Ryan Simpson, the vice governor. I witnessed uh, uh, Palarodon. 
and then your mayor. Also in uh, Abra, I came to know you in Abra non in Vigan also. There were some coaches there, I meet with them in last summer. The also, what else? Uh, in Puerto Princesa, I was there. In fact, the one who hosted me there, sometimes it to Pito Alvarez, the governor, and some of us were involved there. This is kind of involvement that we, I would want that we have a common objective. Because para sa akin, no, dalawang component ano natin dito, players and coaches. Even when we go to tournaments abroad, there is always on the side the coaches. So this up to in the territory, then more. You will be beside you right now. That's why I'm interested that you will be furthering your role dito. How we can support you with seminars, conferences that can enhance your effectivity. You are very effective right now, but more enhancement, more effective is sending you so that we can be abreast with other coaches in advance. So I'm happy with this. I welcome you all. And then we have more expanded workshop to do, especially this pandemic. You know, we are respected by our industry. So I welcome you all. I thank you. I thank the organizers. And this will go a long way to us. My all out support and my perpetual support. You coach. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Ah. Yan, salamat po, uh, Pilta President Attorney Cablitas. Um, to share us naman uh, more of um, uh, objectives of the Pilta uh, Online Play Tennis Workshop, um, let us welcome uh, Coach uh, Martin Misa naman po. Yan. Para sa kanyang ano, sa, ka, sa kanyang uh, uh, message. The purpose and the aims of this course. Eh. Uh, 1983, when I first uh, in the U.S., eh, I attended a, uh, a conference there. Actually, worldwide conference yun. Uh, malaking natulong sa akin yung world conference na yun kasi I, I talked to top coaches, psychologists, uh, technicians, lahat. So, actually, the main aim of the course is to help coaches or participants uh, understand how to Introduce tennis to beginner players of all ages. Of all ages to, from 8 to 88. Pwede nyo gamitin to sistema na itong pagturo. And it's so, um, yung methodology is so easy to, for the, easy for the students to, to understand. And also for the coaches to demonstrate, actually. It also helps them to organize activities, delivering tennis sessions in a fun, easy, and effective learning environment. So, yan po ang main goal nitong, uh, or main aim nitong uh, workshop natin, is to really assist you, to really empower you actually, of this, uh, of this uh, system of teaching. And it, uh, meron siyempre yung personal, uh, application. May, may sariling style kayo na i-integrate nyo dito sa 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 sistemang to. So, this will, uh, this is a totally different approach from the traditional uh, way of learning. Kasi I learned tennis the, the traditional way. Medyo malaking raketa, abigat na bola, malaking court. So it was frustrating for me at first nag nagano ako nag uh, nag-aaral ako ng tennis kasi hirap malakhabang raketa, malaking court. 
So normally, I used to have a big swing and everything. This uh, emphasis ng, uh, ng, uh, ng course na to is to really uh, educate them by not actually teaching them, by just letting them play. Uh, di ba? Meron lang konting uh, parameters na bibigay kayo sa kanila na madali nila makukuha. So, sinabi nga ni, ni Kajobi na 1983 pa ako nag-start nung aking seminar. Pero actually, meron akong natutunan nun eh, na mas mataas na, na lesson eh, na hindi ko makalimutan. Dahil dito, nag-coach ako up to now. So, since uh, actually 38 years na ako nagtuturo, uh, this uh, starts with a question. Naalala ko yun, si Jim Lerto. He was one of the best psychologists that I, I've ever... Ano, uh, is, the sports teach character. That's why we want them to play sports because we want to develop character. Sabi niya. Character is the one that drives performance. Uh, di ba? So, ito yung lesson na hindi ko makalimutan kasi hindi tennis eh. Ano lang, it's more of developing the player itself and the athlete. So, that's our uh, main goal actually. Main goal natin as coaches. This is what I want to share with you. This is what, that's why I was, I'm teaching for this long, longest time because of this. Uh, my primary Uh, mission was to enhance character development in part- with my students. And uh, secondary lang yung maging professional silang tennis player or what. And uh, it, it really works. Kung ito siguradong panalo ka. Hindi man sila gumaling sa tennis, eh, you have helped them develop ano eh, develop to better people and better citizens of this country. So Actually, uh, meron siyang sinabi. Actually, tennis message niya to the world noon is tennis is the number one sport for building character. That's stuck. Stuck. Na, na stuck sa akin. Sa my, oh, so, if this is the best sport, then this is, this is what I'm into. Yung, so, it's parang, ano eh, parang, parang, uh, Uh, it can really uh, help them in life and in tennis. So, my challenge to you is, yun nga, is to really incorporate that lesson. Actually, that's the primary lesson I teach all the time uh, to my students. Na it's character building. It's uh, working hard. Yung integrity, respect sa mga tao. Uh, the love for it. Yan. So, anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, that's the only thing I want. I can, I can, uh, that's why I'm teaching for 30, 38 years is because of that reason. Not just tennis. It's more of really uh, building people to be better citizens, to be better people outside the court and inside the court. Because this is the one that, that connected me with myself eh, first. Tapos, uh, it connected me with other, a lot of people actually in business, in, in school, lahat. So, uh, it, uh, it introduced me to myself. So, actually, that's my first uh, role as a coach is to introduce people to themselves eh, and then to share ideas about tennis. So, thank you, Jovi, for inviting me here. And I'll be helping you if you want uh, uh, in um, conducting this. And I like, I like this. Ito yung unang-una. So, thank you for inviting me for yung sa unang-una. That's very important. Thank you again. Yun. So, thank you, Coach uh, Martin. Thank you, Coach Martin, for that. Ano. Um, to start the ball rolling, um, let's hear naman po si Dumadongkoy Boloto uh, ng uh, Marawi City. At si Sir Michael uh, uh, Dinsuwat ng uh, Polo Sulu. Yan. So, okay. Set ko lang. Yan. 
Good noon po sa lahat. Uh, I'm Duma Eli Bolato Jr. from Mindanao State University, Marawi City, main campus. I am a faculty here in physical education and recreation. And I'm also the assistant head coach of the MSU Tennis Academy, no? Batang Marawi, Ground Zero. So, matagal-tagal na rin po ako naglalaro and then matagal-tagal na rin po ako nagko-coach. So I've been to places where coaching and playing rin po. And that rin po akong player ni Coach Jovi po. Hindi sa ating... That's all po. Baka hindi na. Okay. Salamat. Salamat doon po eh. Yan, okay na. Salamat ng araw po sa inyong lahat. I'm Michael Vinswat from Holosulu. Tuturo po ako sa Holos School of Fisheries. Salamat po. Ayun, uh, thank you. Thank you ulit, uh, Sir Michael and uh, Sir uh, Coach Duma. Yan, so at this stage, uh, let's watch some highlights uh, of the ongoing Filta Online Play Tennis Workshop, uh, which uh, started last um, uh, Saturday. Itong Saturday lang na nakaraan. Um, tap um, Saturday. Uh, we wish uh, to share a few fun tips when uh, teaching beginners, especially kids. Sa mga coaches po na nanonood ngayon, ngayong gabi, I hope uh, you learn something new. A few things also, uh, tips regarding uh, organizing fun games, okay? Um, kasama sa pinagkakwentuhan natin ngayon, <coughs> mga, <coughs> mga ano lang, mga, ang topic kasi natin is uh, organizing activities for beginners. <coughs> so, um, tayo lahat coaches, <coughs> magbigay lang tayo ng, ng uh, isang fun game o isang drill na, na ginagawa nyo <coughs> sa inyong uh, tennis program. Y yun lang yeah, yun sige, kasi sige. <coughs> ano lang tayo eh, organizing uh, <coughs> activities. Ayan, nakikita ko naka nakatayo na si Coach Ramon Fernandez <laughs> ng Bigan. Talagang hot na hot Hello. talaga itong si Coach Ramon Per. Gusto nga niya magpunta pa raw sa court para pakita sa atin yung drills niya eh. <laughs> okay na yan. Sa, si, sige, ganito na. Si Sir, Sir Billy ang next. Si Sir Billy ang next. Okay, kahit anong ginagawa niyo sa program niya na simple... Simple drill lang para masaya yung mga bata. Okay, thank you. Or even fun? Yes, sir. Uh, Coach Jerber, uh, one simple drill na pinagagawa ko sa mga bata, uh, inadap ko yung passing the egg, passing the ball naman, using the racket. Okay, okay. Galing, galing. Uh, galing, galing. Uh, Ginugroup ko yung mga bata. Ginugroup ko yung mga bata. So let's say, mayroon akong 10 na uh, bata. I group them into two groups. Eh, paunahan kung sino makatapos magbasa. Uh, ikutan nila yung yung upuan. Mayroon natin sa set na upuan na ikutan nila. Pag start sila sa baseline, let's say ito, hanggang dun sa service line, then ikot sila dun, ipapasa nila yung bola sa sunod na uh, player. Kung sino mauna, yun yung mananalong team. Then my price sila, siyempre, para naman sa ganun, mag-enjoy yung mga bata. Para magkaroon sila ng enjoyment sa paglalaro. So yun lang po, yung uh, isa sa mga ginagamit kong fun game nila. Coach Ramon, Coach Ramon. Uh, 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 ginagawa ko po sa mga tinuturuan kong bata dito, yung mga meron, uh, actually meron po akong sampung bata dito na tinuturuan, ang ginagawa ko sa mga bata ay Kumukuha, uh, pinapukuha ko sila ng limang raketa, tapos limang bola, nilagay ko sa, pinapalagay ko sa raketa, tapos itatakbo nila doon sa kabilang line, iiwan nila yung bola doon, tapos yun ang ginagawa ko po sa mga bata para may fun game po. Masaya naman po sila, naman sila sa ginagawa ko. Tapos din po, ganun. 
naman po, Miss Dixie naman po, kayo naman po, uh, mag, pwede mag-give ng mga example ng ginagawa niyo dyan sa inyo. Yeah. Ang ginagawa sa ko po sa kanila, activity nila, yung ano, yung um, nagka-catch sila ng ball by using their right hand tapos kinakatch naman yung 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 ibang bata by using their left hand. Together with, kasi inaano ko na eh, ina-integrate ko na yung yung paa nila. Kasi napansin ko, nung hindi ko pa sila tinuturuan, yung ginagawa lang nila yung yung mga position ng paa nila, na-outbalance sila. Na nagfo-fo, talagang natutumba sila. So parang ini-integrate ko na yung wina-warm up ko sila yung nagka-catch yung isa, uh, bale, sinino niya yung ball and then with the right hand, with the proper foot na, uh, foot hmm. position na yung para hindi na sila matumba. Ganun lang sila po. Uh, bale, throw and catching the ball, the red ball. Very important po yun, balance sa yes. part ng biomechanics Opo. yun. Kasi Sige. na-outbalance sila eh. Hmm. Kaya um, Opo, pinagsasabay ko na po yung ano, yung paan nila, yung proper foot stance. Tama, tama. Si Sir Elmer naman po. Hey, Sir Elmer po kaya. Baka pwede nyo naman i-share yung uh, mga activities nyo. Yeah, Coach. <coughs> yung sa akin naman yung, kung ngay, uh, yung mga beginners, uh, pinababounce ko yung bola sa raketa nila. So, lahat, lahat ng mga beginners may raketa sa bola. Tapos, paramihan ng pag-bounce ng bola. Tapos, pag sino yung pinakamarami may price. So, hindi ko, gaya nga nang sabi ko kanina, hindi, nyo pa, uh, hindi ko pa tinuturo yung paghawa ng raketa. Basta binigay yung raketa, tapos sabihin mo, uh, you bounce the ball. Tapos, paramihan. So, kanya-kanya na yun. May, may mataas yung bola, may mababa. Basta paramihan. Tapos yung parami, may price. Parang ganun po. You know. Ayan, Sir Michael naman po. Sir Michael, hello. Sir Michael, kayo po, sa inyo po ba? Baka may share nyo naman po yung uh, ginagawa nyo mga fan-related activities po dyan sa, sa holo. Yung mga, sa mga students nyo po. Sir Michael? Uh, pwede natin balikan si Sorry. Sir Michael. Pag tinitingnan lang natin para pag connected na siya, siya na agad. Ay, sige po. Connecting sige po. yata siya. So, the next. Uh, si Coach uh, Gia naman. Sige, kayo po. Ayan, ayan si Coach Gia. Hello. Ayan, ayan sige. Ibigay ka naman ng example. Bawal kopyahan po ah. Iba, iba, dapat may iba. <laughs> ayan, uh, sa akin, ano... May dalawang racket, then may three ball that the transfer nila dun sa kabilang racket. Relay siya, relay. Yeah, footwork Good. naman. Footwork ang pig. Tapos, a-appear. Pagkatapos ng turn ng isa, a-appear siya dun sa teammate niya. Then, opo, pagkatapos para madaling makita kung sino yung tapos na. Then, syempre, may punishment yun. Ba, five kangaroo sa natalo. Then, yung panalo, sila yung magka-count. So, ayan. Parang ano pala yun? Kung kung ilalagay natin sa baseline, parang moving the opponent na pala yun. Opo, yun din po. <laughs> oh, diba? Okay, Good. Okay. Sige, sir. Nakamute, nakamute. Okay, okay sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. sige, sige. Um, when we train during the summer, we, when we engage, uh, when we start our summer tennis clinic, but, uh, believe it or not, ang number ng players na dumadating na sumasali sa amin is more than 200 players all in one court. Like, wow. Uh, when when we first encountered it, we, we we asked ourselves, how can we do this? Like, there's no reason for the kids to come here and not learn anything because kung sa isang linya sobrang haba nila, wala silang mag, mag, ano kung one ball each lang, di ba? So what I did is, what I do is, um, I divide them, about ten players each, and then in the first week, hindi ko pa sila pinapahawak ng raketa. Uh, I I do their I do their ano um. So, parang, you know, they're the, the movement of the strokes. No? So, first I do is, I do I let them do the, uh, no, the underhand rolls. I put two cones at the end of, at, at the net. And then, kailangan i underhand rolls nila. Dapat ipa, ipa roll, mm -hmm. ipa bowling nila in the middle of the mm -hmm. two cones yung bola. And that's counted as one point. And then, mm -hmm. the next, and then, and then who, whichever team gets the most points 
will get a box of candies. And then, wow. so so after that, after the overhand rolls, I, I let them do the, the overhead throws. So I, I put mm-hmm. two. I put two cones. I mean, I insert two cones in the net, and then mm-hmm. yung yung overhead throws na dapat na sa middle ano sa middle ng two cones matatamaan and that's counted as one point. And then it's it's mm-hmm. rounds and rounds. Whoever gets ten uh, ten points first will get a box of candies. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, sir Christoph. Okay, <laughs> oh, Christoph, dami dami. Daming uh, pang candy. <laughs> Diyan na lang <laughs> training <laughs> Thank you po. Thank you. Uh, move on tayo kay Sir Wes. Sir Wes naman. Galing-galing kumanta ni Sir Wes eh. Hindi ko narinig yung poses. <laughs> Talagang yung pagkanta ko yung nasa ilip mo ha. <laughs> Siyempre. <laughs> Ayun. So sa amin, uh, yung sa, mga, sa ginagawa ko no, as uh, fun activities sa mga bata, yung sa tinatawag namin ano, Um, natutunan ko to nung nag-coaching ako sa ano, nag-coaching ako sa Ateneo. Um, yung tinatawag namin ano, hot, hot potato. Ang taang pa ng hot potato. So yung bola, yung bola ng tennis, uh, malimbaw ang gagawin parang lumalabas doubles, uh, doubles ang laro parang ganon. So kailangan yung bola, isasaluhin mo lang ng it's either yung uh, for your forehand mo, yung right hand mo or right-handed ka then kung left left hand ang gagamitin. Pag backhand, pahala ka lang. It's either yung left hand mo rin ang gagamitin mo or pa backhand naman din yung kamay mo using your forehand. Ano? Kailangan magsistay lang yung bola. Magsistay lang yung bola sa kamay mo. At least one, two seconds lang. Tapos, kailangan maipato mo na ulit yung bola sa kabila. So, ang ang goal kasi namin doon is yung um, eye and hand coordination dun sa bola. And at the same time, uh, binibuild namin, binibuild namin doon yun eh, yung uh, footwork ng mga bata. Mm-hmm. Yun, yun yung, yun yung usually ginagawa ko pag uh, fun games na ng mga bata para, uh, yun, yun yan, uh, hand and eye coordination and then footwork. Okay, with and without racket to, no? Apo, with or without racket. Ha? Okay, sige. You know, dami ko rin napupulot. Si Coach Pitches kaya, yan. Share naman. Thank you. Um, so fun games, syempre yung the usual na ginagawa natin sa Milo, which is the ball relay, jumping drill, and uh, what's this? Um, yung isa natin pang drill, I forgot. So yung parang kukunin yung, there's a five balls na nakalagay dun sa, sa racket, then pick, pick up ball drill, yon So you have to pick it up, ilalagay dun sa, loo, sa kabilang racket. So there's two rackets, five balls, then may mga groups ng kids. So paunahan silang maka, nagay no, makapag, uh, lipat ng bola sa kabilang racket na hindi nauhulog dapat dun sa racket head. So yon. Um aside din doon, katulad ng sinabi ni Coach Kanina is yung sa footwork yung um magka-catch ng ball. So another eye coordination um uh, and of course yung sa footwork. Pag hindi ko sila pinapasalo ng bola, ginagawa ko is I will tell them to run doon sa may mid court. Pero syempre pagdating doon sa mid court, they have to stop in a specific um stance. So, let's say from the baseline, patatakbuhin ko sila, then they have to stop with their left foot forward or their right mm-hmm. foot forward. Kumbaga parang, dapat ano yun, sabay-sabay sila na mag-stop doon. Yes. So, again, kumbaga parang, para masanay sila kung paano yung pagtakbo around the courts. So, uh, uh, one way of my, ano yun, footwork footwork exercise. Okay. Ayun po. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Peaches. Ma'am, uh, Sir Michael, okay na po kaya si Sir Michael. Ano, ma-mention ko lang po, ah, okay naman lahat siyang importante ang mga activities na yan. Um, uh, ma-mention ko lang na uh, importante din na ma-relate nyo siya sa, uh, it's either sa intention nyo tactically or um, uh, game situation para hindi lang tayo, baka kasi, ang iba kasi baka lang naliligaw na fun games lang hindi dapat marirelate natin siya sa uh, uh, game situation at tactical objective para yung kay uh, coach Christopher uh, na 
appreciate ko yun, yung may yung target na sa over the net. So very clear ang goal ang gust ang objective doon is consistent ang tactical uh, intention do ang game situation is serving and receiving tapos ang ang kanyang uh, game uh, ang kanyang tactical objective is consistency. Kailangan ma shoot doon sa ano eh. Ma shoot doon sa dalawang cone sa taas tama ba coach Christoph? So yun i test explain yun rin sa mga bata yun. E, very ano yun important. Ma- Yan, woo, grabe. Coach Davis, hello. Yan, dami ng ano no, ang dami nating uh, very interactive hello, yung hello. ano, yung very interactive yung uh, mga yung ating uh, workshop no. Ang galing very interactive. Yes, siya. yes. Lalo na lalo na kasi lalo na dun sa mga sinishare ng mga coaches natin ng mga fun games or mga drills na very help, helpful helpful talaga siya sa mga yung mga, lalo na yung mga nakikinig ng mga coaches natin dyan. So, mga players na gusto rin magturo. So, this is, uh, I think, this is the best time na talagang makinig kayo. Kasi nga, um, kakatapos lang din ng bagyo, tapos, di ba, Friday, ano ba yan? Saturday nag-start, di ba? So, parang hindi siya possible na mangyayari. Pero ito, naka, ongoing na kami sa third day namin, this coming Saturday. So, uh, sa lahat ng nanonood na coaches, Stay tuned lang kayo. Marami kayong matututunan. Okay. So, good. Uh, sana yun nga. Uh, thank you, Coach TV. Sana meron kayong uh, uh, tennis tips na natutunan. Actually, pwede naman kayong uh, mag-replay ng episode para mas maintindihan ang mga tips. Now, part of the Filta Online Play Tennis Workshop is to also feature uh, the playing skills of the coaches. And we have chosen uh, UAAP Tennis Champion uh, of UE, uh, uh, Sir Harry uh, Dave Garon from Cotabato City. Please watch this book. Very natural. Hindi makarali yung partner niya. Si Coach Harry, nandiyan ka ba? Hi Coach Harry, nahirin mo pala doon ba ito? Sorry kung makaganda sa video yun, sa video na yun. Inismash pa sa baseline. Balance, okay. Uh, Pag-receiving receive, skills niya, okay. Recovery, okay. Hindi. <laughs> 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 Okay, hey, Coach Davis. Uh, ano? Hi, Coach Davis. Hello, Coach Davis. Nandiyan ka pa ba? Yun, so, grabe. Ang lutong nung mga uh, palo ni, ano, ni, uh, ni Harry. Uh, hello, Coach Davis. Nandiyan ka pa ba? Coach Davis. Yan. So, grabe. Ang lutong nung mga palo niya no, ni uh, Coach Harry nga ng Cotabato. So, at this point, um, Hello, Coach Davis. Narinig mo ba ako? At this point, nakamute ka. Ayun. So, um, 
let's uh, move forward. Kasi ang galing talaga ni, ano, ni Sir Harry ng uh, Cotabato City. Kaya madali niya matutu- maturuan ng mga bata sa Cotabato City. Dahil siya mismo ang role model. Wow. Also po during the Filta Online uh, Play Tennis Workshop, we took the opportunity to announce the Tennis Coaches Association of the Philippines or TCAP. And here to orient us regarding the Tennis Coaches Association of the Philippines or uh, yung tinatawag uh, na TCAP. Here is uh, a Filta head coach, Coach uh, Chris Quarto. Good day to all coaches and lecturers. I am Coach Chris Quarto, head coach of the, of the Philippine Tennis Association. Uh, in behalf of FILTA and the Tennis Coaches Association of the Philippines, I would like to welcome everyone to the first FILTA JTI online workshop. This is a program of the Tennis Coaches Association of the Philippines through FILTA. I am very much delighted to see enthusiastic coaches attending this workshop, and we promise that at the end of this, all of you will be better coaches and organizers as well. Just to give you uh, some information about uh, the tennis coaches of the Philippines, uh, we are now in the process of uh, creating uh, an association for, for, for coaches locally and even uh, Filipino coaches abroad. Uh, we, we saw the need in uh, in having uh, having such an organization uh, of coaches, uh, and we will be uh, registering it at the Securities and Exchange Commission. Uh, we are now in the process of doing that, and uh, we have about fifteen incorporators. Uh, mo- uh, all of most most of them coaches uh, locally, and and at the same time we have coaches. Uh, who are part of the Dev Ed program as well. Uh, as uh, for, for the Tennis Co- Co- Coaches Association of the Philippines, uh, we, we saw the need uh, uh, for a link for, for this uh, association for all our local coaches, both uh, staying uh, locally and even working abroad. Uh, it can make a it can have a, a database of all our coaches for good connection wherever we are in the world. Uh, we all know that Filipino coaches are very much, uh, uh, very much uh, taken by other countries because they are very good uh, teachers. Uh, also, we, we would want to have an independent body that will also be a source of uh, information for, for decision making uh, uh, for FILTA in, in, its, in its programs and its uh, uh, tournaments. Uh, we, we, it will also help the members uh, get a lot of uh, equipments. Uh, we could uh, uh, help them out, uh, seek uh, discounts from different uh, tennis brands and also with the ITF uh, equipments. Uh, eventually, we would we would be having those programs that would give uh, coaches or their programs uh, equipment that would be used. The Tennis Coaches Association of the Philippines will work closely with Philippine Tennis Association in its programs, but in a way they will be independent as well in making decisions for for their organization for their organization. Uh, Active members uh, uh, of TCAP uh, will also have a chance to uh, to get programs from FILTA or FILTA will be funding their programs as well. Uh, I think this will be very exciting thing, exciting thing that will happen next year. And hopefully uh, with the registration uh, at the Securities and Exchange Commission, uh, it will become a very uh, relevant organization uh, in tennis. Uh, for now, uh, with this workshop, we have limited uh, uh, invited coaches, but for the next workshop, we will do 
it open uh, to more coaches. Um, now I think we have invited uh, 12, 13 coaches for, for this program, for this workshop. Uh, I think from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, all are represented. And we are very happy to help uh, coaches uh, in those far-flung areas uh, in the Philippines. Again, to all the participants, uh, we value your work in tennis and we'll try to support you uh, in any way we can through the Philippine Tennis Association and the Tennis Association, Tennis Coaches Association of the Philippines in any way we can. Again, thank you very much and welcome to the workshop. Thank you. Hi, Coach Davis. Grabe, no? Uh, exciting. Tennis Coaches Association of the Philippines. Yan. So, thank you, uh, Coach Chris. Uh, and thank you, Coach uh, uh, Davis. Thank you, everyone. Now, let's uh, move on to the um, equipment uh, corner. Okay, so, Coach Davis, kumusta ba yung mga comments natin dyan habang nire-ready ko? Okay, so uh, actually, ang dami ko comment um, teka, hindi tayo. Sige. So, yan, maraming, maraming nag-greet kay Attorney Cabritas ng good evening and thank you for taking time to share knowledge and experiences. Stay safe, God bless. Uh, good evening, coaches. Ingat po kayo palagi. Good evening, Coach Ramon Fernandez of Vegan. Thank you for joining Filta Online Play tennis workshop. So, hello po, Coach Gia of Palawan and Coach Dixie of Abra. Stay safe po palagi and patuloy niyo po ang, ay pagpatuloy niyo po ang pagko-coach niyo from Julia, from uh, Lucena. Um, wait. Sino po ba? Ayan, so, hi, Coach Chris and Coach Harry. Thank you po for sharing your knowledge and experiences. God bless. Stay safe po. Um, Coach Jerb, nag-comment si Coach Kamo eh, pero hindi ko makita dito kasi nakalagay Facebook user. Facebook uh, user. Na, hindi na, oh, sige. Hindi, hello na lang. Hi Coach Kamo, eh. thank you for watching. <laughs> so yun na yung yeah, discuss so... natin na teacup uh, nung kasi sila yung guest. So ito na. Uh, Namuusad na Coach Kamo, eh. thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, yun. Thank you, Coach Davis. Okay, yeah. meron pa ba? Or you, uh, ano ka na? Okay na. Sige. Okay, so ito na. Let's watch the uh, equipment corner. Hello to our viewers all over the country. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Uh, Maraming salamat rin po sa pagsuporta niyo sa Philippine Tennis. Ako po si Martin Misa, ang host niyo for today. Uh, mara uh, Tonight, we will feature again in our tennis equipment segment, Head Sports. Uh, for your information, Head is exclusively distributed in the Philippines by Dynamic Sports Corporation. Head is a leading global provider of premium, high-performance equipment and apparel for athletes and players at all levels. For beginners, intermediate, and high-performance po. Lahat, they can provide equipment. For this week, we will feature, uh, we will talk about their Head Speed 360 Plus Tennis Racket Series. Ito ba yung uh, pinakamaganda, premium, at uh, ito ba yung top seed, kumbaga sa ranking tennis rackets from Head. Ito kasi yung ginagamit ni Novak Djokovic, at marami pa mga pros na nakikita ko sa circuit. To give us more information about the Head Speed 360 series and accessories, our uh, Dynamic Sports Corporation sales team, Mr. Jonathan Ray. Uh, welcome to FILTA webinar, Mr. Jonathan. Please go ahead. Thank you, Coach Martin. Hello, everybody. Good evening. I'm Jonathan Ray from Head Philippines. And today, I introduce ko po sa inyo yung uh, Graphene 360, Head Graphene 360 Speed Pro. Okay, Graphene 360 Speed Pro Plus. 
Ito po yung gamit niya ni Lovak Djokovic. Yung word, rock number one natin and tennis men. Okay. Ano po ba yung graphene? Okay, graphene po is the world lightest and strongest material. Okay, in-apply po niya yung graphene dito po sa part na to. Sa upper, 3 o'clock part, 9 o'clock part, and dito po sa may shock section. Ngayon, dito po sa graphene 360 plus, hindi lang po siya dito nilagay na yung graphene sa 3 o'clock part, 9 o'clock part, upper part, and dito sa shock. May additional pa po siyang uh, spinal fiber section dito sa upper part ng shock. Ang nabibigay naman ito, it provides greater stability and optimal energy transfer for more power. Yun yung advantage niya. Kaya ito si Djokovic, laging nananalo dahil dito sa gamit niya. Okay, specs ng Graphene 360 Plus Speed Pro, ang weight po niya 310 grams, then yung head size niya 100 square inch. Okay, sa mga may gusto ng ramen ni Djokovic, na hindi magsipit yung yung weight niya at saka yung yung head size niya pag buhay magalala gumawa din po sila ng kamukha ng rocket ni Djokovic pero may mas mababang weight this is 310 grams we have a data called feed and feed 100 square inch din po siya pero 300 grams lang okay and another meron din po siya Kung gusto niyo mas mababa pa yung weight niya, uh, 100 square inch din po siya. Then, 265 grams. Ito naman speed light po siya. And actually, meron din po siyang speed power. Sa speed power natin niya, mas marawak yung head size, yung 115 square inch po. Kung gusto niyo yung power rocket. Okay. Siyempre, may accessories din po tayo. Available accessories natin po sa tennis ring, hop touch. Okay. Uh, hop touch meron siyang unique multi-stage heat process featuring crystal core. Crystal core na yung pinakang gitna niya. So dito may uh, durability and at the same time, mas playable pa rin siya. Kung gusto niyo naman ng synthetic gas, meron din tayo velocity. Okay. Then ito po, kung gusto niyo ng uh, kakaibang feel, Ito po, gumawa po tayo ng gravity hybrid. Okay. Dalawang strings po siya. So, triangular yung isa. Then yung isa, rounded. Okay. Ano naman yung nagagawa niya? Yung triangular may string po niya. Uh, may maximum bite para mas makapit yung bola. The same time, yung round cross string, mas enhance yung snapback dun sa bola. Napaganda nito. Diba tayo yung sa bag? Okay. Sa bas, meron tayong uh, line rocket series. Jokovic. Open na. So, ito yung compartment po niya. Dito lang yung mga gamit na kompleto na po. Then, yung rocket compartment, ayan na. Mapapansin niyo po, thermal po siya. Meron siyang PCC technology. Advantage nito, kung ano yung temperature dun sa loob na may maintain po niya. Okay, so kung kahit maaaring mo yung kamainit na lugar yung rocket nyo, basta nakalagay na dito, safe siya. Meron din siyang nalagyan ng accessories dito sa part na to, para mas madaling mga cellphone na maging gadget. Then ang maganda sa kanya, mas madaling nyo siyang mapipigbet kasi pwede rin siyang pakpak. Available po siya, may nakakit, six rockets, and Sobra. Yung big bata. Okay. Main compartment ko niya. Yan, malaki yung main compartment niya. So, marami yung malalagay. Pero din siyang new compartment. Okay. Side compartment, kasa po yung water bottle, dito, bola, or accessory. And ang maganda, yung mga special dito, yung mga compartment po niya sa dito. Ang yeah. maganda sa kanya, may last step na hindi siya, so hindi siya basta basta mag-glue. Then, at the same time, pinakalipod niya, sinigyan siya ng paddle foam for more comfort. Okay. 
So that's all for head tennis racket and accessories po natin. Okay, ma-avail naman natin itong mga items na to sa mga branches natin nationwide, Toby Sport, Big Sport, and Olympic Village. Thank you very much, Coach Martin. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, to our viewers, as you can see, this is the top of the line of many head products available for us. So to coaches, play, well, parents, players, tennis addicts, yung mga hindi makatulog dyan pag hindi nakalaro, if you want more information and details, I advise that you visit Chris Sports, almost all malls, SM Mall, Ayala Malls, uh, they're present there. They are all over the place, actually. Ganda, ang ganda na kanilang distribution. So, the reason why I insist uh, for almost 35 years in teaching tennis, uh, I personally want, uh, I want you to, and I advise you to see and touch the products kasi uh, iba talaga pagka ikaw ang pipili, ikaw ang hawak ng raketa, yung grip, yung grip size, yung how, how light and heavy the rackets are. Uh, the quality of the strings, you match. Marami, marami ma-advise sa inyo yung mga experts sa, sa Chris Sports. Yung tension, even the color of the bags. Ang ganda ng bag na pinakita. Very neutral yung kulay, black and gray. So bagay sa lahat ng outfits natin. So it affects our mood eh. Siyempre, pagka nagpunta ka ng club eh. So, siyempre, pricing. Compare natin sa ibang brand, siyempre. Pero maganda, very competitive ang pricing ng head. So, salamat uli sa head kay Jonathan uh, sa Dynamic Sports Corporation. Salamat again. Till next time, this is Coach Martin. Stay safe, everybody, and God bless. Back to you, Coach Jerb. Thank you, Coach Martin, for the equipment corner. Say, Coach Davis, uh, may... Balita ko, may... Ano, sino ba yung nag-comment mga comments pa dyan? Okay. Okay. Sige, sige. So, nag-comment dito si Coach Kamay Palahang. Uh, sino yung naka-red red cap na coach? Kilala ko ata siya. Parang coach ko siya before, ha? Ayun. So, si Coach Jody po yung tinutukay niya, coach niya. At <laughs> <Sandeta. laughs> Okay. Tapos, um, si Coach uh, Coach Tib de Guzman. Nagpapashoutout sa atin, Coach Jerb. So, Coach Tib. Shoutout sa iyo. Uh, hello, Coach Tib. Uh, <laughs> tapos, from Kiana Diasis of La Carlota Negros Occidental. Good evening, Coach Gia Arzaga from Palawan and Coach Joby from I, from our uh, our beloved San Beda University. Stay safe and keep roaring. Tapos, meron pa, Coach. Uh, last na siguro to. Um, hi, Coach Billy at, Co at si Sir Norman. Nagmayat man, Sir. Thank you, Sir, sa mga turo nyo sa amin sa tennis at pakikisama. Ha, ha, ha. Lalong-lalo na kay Sir Nikasyo sa mga kalokohan ay este mababait na asa ng mga players niya. <laughs> so, yun. <laughs> okay. Ayos. Sige. Thank you, Coach Davis. So, ito na ang ating uh, Milo Tennis Update. Good day everyone, Coach Kevin here and welcome back to our Milo Summer Tennis Tips for Beginners. Did you enjoy our tennis activity last week? If so, keep on watching. Let's go! Activity for today is what we call Rally with Partners, and my partner for today is Aika. Hi. Okay, all we need is our ITF approved Wilson Red Ball, our tennis racket, and our hula hoops that serves as your marker. If you don't have any, you can use or draw one big circle on the ground. The main objective of this activity is to improve our ball control, our communication with our partner, and teamwork. Okay, we'll show you.
To make it more challenging, we will add one more circle on the ground. Okay? okay? Now, we will demo me and my partner, Kobe, Hi. will demonstrate how it's done. Okay? Enjoy our activity for today. If so, keep on watching. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you. Uh, that's our Milo Equipment Corner. Um, natapos na naman po ang uh, ating uh, isang episode ngayong gabi. So next episode po, Coach Davis, is ano, uh, sa mga viewers, isa po uling kakaibang uh, feature dahil interview po ni Father Jerry Cosal na napakasaya. Yan. So Coach Davis, um, this is Coach Gerber. Uh, Coach Davis saying good night to everyone. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. See you all next Tuesday. And most of all, uh, don't forget to have fun, play tennis, good night. <laughs>